Hello everyone, welcome to Phone Nine. After we taking a look at the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT. Uh, AMD is mid range or entry level graphics card. Entry level graphics card. Uh, yes. But yeah, so entry level. The pricing has now shifted to the mid range territory. Yes. Around, it launched at around uh, roughly under forty thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the kind of the I mean a street price a guideline given by AMD. But unfortunately, due to the whole uh, silicon shortage, shortage and uh, mining, mining and other. industry reasons prices are have increased shot up even for this kind of entry level 1080p graphics, uh, graphics card uh, it's around 60000 now yeah but it should retail around 38 to yeah, 40000 40, 40, so the main focus of this card uh, it's catering to uh, 1080p gamer mm-hmm. uh, that's the target audience from uh, amd radeon and it takes on the nvidia 3060 ti and the uh, 3060 So it's a PCI uh, Gen 4 compatible card. It's got eight gigs of uh, VRAM. Use the RDNA to architecture, RDNA architecture, so it's uh, pretty yeah, similar to the Oppo architecture. And overall, it's a very low power card. It only takes about 200 watts mm-hmm. of so your uh, motherboard power. So it's a single eight pin so, connector. And single eight pin connector, so any eight five hundred watt SMPS can drive this card. Yeah. So you don't need any special modifications. It's mainly targeted at legacy. Consist machines yeah. getting an upgrade, um, RX four seventy, five seventy, five eighty, four eighty, whatever. I mean, old AMD cards. Yeah. Or if you're not able to find an NVIDIA card, is probably why you're watching this video. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so AMD is doesn't have a reference card this time around. So it's only OEMs like Gigabyte, Asrock, PowerColor, Sapphire who are making these cards. Yeah. So we have one from Gigabyte. Uh, we are taking for a spin. We've done some benchmarks and in game. uh we have some game footage also i mean i personally play a lot of flight simulator and this uh, actually worked brilliantly well uh, in the latest update at 1080p at 1080p 1080p I mean, remember uh, that going over to 1440p the frame rates go down uh, um, significantly 4k is possible but not, not playable yeah uh, i mean 4k for just using it as a monitor output is fine yeah. uh, but if you're going to use it for gaming not recommended yeah, it's, uh, it's but it's a, a decent card i mean it's got triple fans i mean it's uh, overkill in terms of uh, cooling performance especially for uh, a 6600 xt but yeah. still cooling performance is always uh, it's, it's nice yeah. to have and it's a big card almost you'll need a big relatively big chassis if yeah. you have a mini itx or something it wouldn't really fit easily you so you have make to make sure, sure the length length uh, is at least for your case it's perfect yeah it's yeah. a little tall of very tall a card it's got four ports on the back you have two display outs and uh, four I mean two display port outs and two hdmi outs yeah so that's display port 1.4 and that's two HDMI display port 1.4 and two hdmi 2.1s so hdmi 2.1 gives us all, you you know you have all the benefits you have variable so refresh rate or 8k up to 60 Uh, 8K up to 8K 30 support, but uh, it'll be a very poor perf- performing card. But anyways, you have up to that, so all of the benefits. So the bulk of the card is just the heat sink, if you can see through. Yeah, the, you can see that. Uh, the chip is on the PCB, and it's pretty much the entire casing. If you remove the fans and the heat sink, I think it'll just be the PCB will be actually quite um, small. Yes, quite small. But overall, I mean, uh, pretty uh, decent offering from AMD. And it's nice to see a lot of competition to the Nvidia cards because it's hardly, I mean, any cards out in the market severe yeah. shortage in terms of RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti. So very good alternative for sure. Uh, you can't be without a GPU if you're building a gaming PC in yeah. 2021. So the next best option if you're not able to get an a- Nvidia card. is a radeon AMD, card and yes. i really love what amd has accomplished with their radeon software uh their software sometimes is even better than the nvidia software for example for game capture it works better than nvidia software because mm-hmm. you're able to even capture the frame rates and the in game uh performance parameters with the game footage which nvidia doesn't allow yeah uh, you'll yeah. have to use some third party software for that uh, so that's what i love and they even have some game tuning and all that available so i mean in uh, radeon is fairly new to the whole gamer market uh, in terms of uh, the that is like going blow for blow with nvidia uh, they are usually lag behind uh, a bit yeah, but so they're taking they're... nvidia head on this time round and the ryan cards uh, probably uh, don't uh, kind of stand a chance against nvidia yeah. but these cards uh, like the 6600 xt they also have a 6600 coming up as well which is a non xt version so these cards do stand a very good chance because there's very scarce availability from nvidia yeah. and i mean when you're playing games at 1080p you don't really care about stuff like who's, ray tracing yeah who's doing uh, it yeah and you what do you need as a card which fits your budget 
and uh, and is available and is available yeah. and these cars are actually available even though it's inflated to around 50000 currently mm-hmm. uh, so it's a beautiful uh, value proposition in that way um uh, really liked uh, the performance i got from a few games i played like uh, f1 2020 um fica mega supply simulator 2020 and uh, fifa at 1080p <laughs> so qhd yeah. the frame rates uh, I, mean, i was about to get about 60 fps in most of the games uh, but if you're using a um higher refresh rate monitor some some of the frame rates might go down mm-hmm. or up depending on uh, the demand from the game side but overall i mean you get this this box and the card uh, no power connector considering it's just using a single eight pin, yeah. pin connector so you can just connect it from your smps you don't need anything special or fancy and it consumes barely about 200 watts of power from a motherboard um, so you need any fan or what smps can drive this yeah. card
so overall i mean it's a very interesting offering mm-hmm. and uh, do check out the benchmarks and the game footage as well let us know in the comments as to what you think about this card if you planning to get one or you already using one and if your team green uh, our uh, team right yeah uh, let us know what do you think about this card as well and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so that's the amd radeon 6600 I mean RX 6600 XT uh, the mid range or entry level uh, GPU card, yeah. from uh, AMD and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions yeah see you guys in the next video bye